Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss how to create a responsive UI design in Flutter using GetX. Here, I have created a project Flutter GetX Responsive Design by using the GetCLI tool. After creating the project in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken a dependency which is device preview. Okay. Now, after taking this dependency in the main.dart file, I have written the code to use the device preview plugin. Let me show you. Let me move to main.dart file. In the main.dart file, you can see the main method is there, which is calling the runapp method. In the runapp method, I have used device preview, which is actually provided by the device preview plugin. Now, in the device preview, there is a builder. In this builder, I am calling a widget named as myapp. Now, this myapp is extending the stateless widget. And in the build method, here I have written get material app. In the get material app, in the local, I have written device preview dot local. After that, I have passed the context. And in the builder, I have written device preview dot app builder. Okay. And in the initial root, if you can see here, it is written app pages dot initial. This means it will actually call this one. Let me show you here. If I move to app pages, then you can see in the initial root, I have specified roots dot home. This means actually it will call the home view. Okay. Now let me move to the home view. In the home view here, if you can see, it is extending the get responsive view. Means if you want to create a responsive UI design in Flutter using GetX, then you need to extend this get responsive view. It is taking the type home controller. Okay. Now in the build method, I have returned the scaffold. In the app bar, in the title, I have specified the text as a responsive design. In the body, I have taken a center widget and as a child of the center widget, I have written a responsive design first way. Now, there are actually two ways with the help of which we can create a responsive UI design by using get responsive view of GetX. I will discuss both the approaches. Okay. Now, here you can see in the center, in the child, I have used or I have called a responsive design first way. Now, this class I have created here, you can see this responsive design first way is extending get responsive view, which is taking home controller. Now, here you can see the builder method is overrided. This is the first approach. This means we can override the builder method of get responsive view to create the responsive UI design. Now, here we will get the screen property. In this screen property, if you can see, this is phone is defined. Now, this will work if we are running the app in a mobile device. Similarly, there is a screen dot is desktop. This will work if the app is running in a desktop. Similarly, we have a screen dot is tablet. This means it will work when the app is running in a tablet. And there is a screen dot is watch. This means the app, this will work if the app is running in a watch. Okay. Now here what I have done, if the screen dot is phone, then you can see in the return, I have written render widget. And after that, I have passed some parameters. Now this render widget create, I have created here. This render widget is taking the icon data, the color, string text. And after that, it is returning a column widget. In the column widget, you can see as the children, I have taken icon widget. Now in the icon widget, I have passed this icon data. Size, I have passed as 100. In the color, the color which has been passed, that will be applied to the icon. After that, I have taken a sized box. After that, there is a text widget. In the text widget, the text will be displayed which has been passed to this render widget method. Okay. And after that, in the style, I have specified a text style with the font size as 40. Now, if I move upwards, then here you can see in the first case, this means if the screen is is phone, then in the render widget, I have passed the icon data as icons dot phone in the color. I have passed colors dot blue and in the text, I have passed phone. Similarly, for desktop here, I have passed desktop windows color as red and the text I have passed desktop for tablet. I have passed the icons as tablet color as green text as tablet for watch. I have passed watch color as orange and the text I have passed watch. Okay. And by default, it will render the widget as phone. Okay. Now, if I run this, I have run this in a web, then you can see here, this preview is being displayed. So here, if you can see the screen dot is phone here, the screen is set as phone. That's why here the icon is displayed as phone. And the text is displayed as phone. Now let me change it. Okay. Let me click here.
now here if I go to this and after that if I click on this then here you can see once I click on desktop then you can see the icon of desktop is displayed and the text is displayed as desktop okay similarly if I go here and from here if I choose tablet then you can see the icon of tablet is displayed and in the text tablet is displayed okay this is the first way of creating the responsive ui design in flutter by using gitx okay now the second one let me comment this so the first approach is to override the builder method and then after that use the screen property now in the second case here you can see i have called this responsive design second way in the responsive design second way it is again extending get responsive view now here i will not use the builder method that's why here i have passed always use builder false okay now once it is false after that here we can use different methods provided by get responsive view the first one is phone now this will work as the name is suggesting this will work when the screen when the app is running in a phone similarly we have desktop we have tablet and we have watch okay and in all these cases again i have called the same render widget function which is displaying this one okay now let me save this now again if you can see the output then you will get the same result okay now it is taking some time yes now you can see here if i click now by default is tablet that's why tablet is displayed if i click on phone then you can see phone has been displayed if i click here and if i go to if i go to desktop then you can see desktop has been displayed okay so these are the two main approaches of creating responsive ui design in flutter by using getx okay now i have discussed the third way as well here in the third way you can see if you want to change the breakpoint for desktop for tablet or for watch at that time we can use the third approach let me show you here you can see the class in the third approach it is uh, i am calling the responsive design third way this class is extending the get responsive view and after that here i have used in the settings i have used responsive screen settings here you can define the breakpoints okay you can define your own custom breakpoints okay so if you want to use the custom breakpoints then you can use this approach okay now after that the builder method is used now the builder method it is returning a column widget in the column widget i have used the children now in the children i have used a text widget in the text i have written width is greater than equals to 800 then desktop this means if the width is greater if the screen width is actually greater than equals to 800 this means it is a desktop for the second case if the width is greater than equals to 700 then it is a tablet after that if the width is less than equals to 600 then it is watch and if the width is greater than 600 and width is less than 700 then it is a mobile okay now after that again i have used the text widget here i have written screen type and after that i have used the screen property and with the with this screen property we have this screen type which will display what type of screen we are using so in this text widget the screen type will be displayed and for this text widget here i have displayed the screen dot width it will display the width of the screen okay now up to this if i refresh it hot reload it then in the output you can see the corresponding changes yes now here you can see if the width is greater than 800 then this text has been displayed now check the last one screen type is screen type dot desktop here you can see i have chosen desktop that's why here the screen type is displayed as desktop and the screen width is 1422 now i if i click here then if i increase the width here the width is 512 so the screen type is watch you can see here 
if the width is less than 200 then watch that's why here the screen type is watch and the screen width is 512 now let me increase the width okay now as i am increasing the width then you can see the width is 896 the same width has been displayed here and since the width is greater than 800 that's why the screen type is desktop here you can see if the width is greater than 800 then it is desktop okay now if i change it to let it be 768 then you can see the screen width is 768 and the screen type is tablet now here you can see the breakpoint for tablet is 700 this means if the width is greater than 700 greater than equals to 700 then it is tablet the same same thing has been displayed here okay this is how we can create a responsive ui design in flutter with the help of getx and get responsive view i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching